Hey everybody, Paul Connell here from VFF In Home Fitness. Today we're talking about shopping, grocery shopping for a healthier you. First thing first, I can tell how healthy you are by what's in your kitchen, what's in the refrigerator, and what's in the cabinets. And if you got a lot of junk food in there, not that healthy. Even if you are fit, doesn't mean you're healthy. Okay, so we want to establish a healthy kitchen, okay? To create a healthy kitchen, you're gonna have to go to the grocery store and buy the healthy foods. What do you want to focus on? You want to focus on the outside aisles. Some of you may have heard of that. All the healthier foods on the outside of aisles, that's where they have the, the misters going on. That's where they have the cold produce going on. Everything in the middle tends to be a little bit more processed, a lot more processed, and it's going to store for a long period of time. They'll come in cans and boxes and bags. You don't want too much of them. Okay? You want to do a majority of your shopping on the outside aisles. And what should you be looking for? Three things you really want to be loading up your kitchen, your cabinets, your refrigerator with. First things first is a base of protein. And you can go any type of protein. Uh, they're all very good for you. You want to make sure you're having the protein. Now, if you're doing pork and red meats, uh, you definitely want to reduce how much you're having of that. But you really want to make sure you're adding a, a protein every single meal. is a great option. It's going to fill you up. It's going to make you feel nice and settled in there. And it's going to be your base. The next step is going to be your energy storages. And I really recommend for most people, actually for everybody out there, that you're really uh, depending on your natural fats as your energy storages rather than your carb substances as your energy storage. So most often we are having um, a sandwich because we're hungry and we need energy. And with that bread is going to put something in us that's going to give us energy. And yes, very true. But the thing is about those breads, they have a lot of... Um, substances that get turned into body fat. Fat is very much of a similar energy, except it doesn't get stored as body fat as easy, and you tend to burn that a lot easier, and it stores a lot harder. So, in other words, natural fats is the best way to go to be a leaner and a healthier you, because a lot of us are facing being overweight, so make sure we're at a lower body fat with leaner uh, foods and leaner energy is a great way to go. Now, the third and final one that you really got to be loading up your, uh, your entire kitchen with is vegetables. And lots and lots and lots of vegetables, you guys. Um, vegetables are a living substance inside our world, inside, uh, 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 inside our, our life that we have to throw into our bodies and feel better. Now, if you're throwing in a bunch of dead substances such as, uh, you know, these breads, the, these, these canned things, all these things that are just... They're, they have no life in them. How are they going to make you feel better and give you life? Eat those broccoli. Eat that broccoli, the spinach, um, the carrots, all the mushrooms, all that stuff out there that has some living cells in them to go inside your body and make you feel better. So that's really what you spend your time is with the vegetables. Lots of them. Protein, natural fats, and veggies. Okay, Those are all on the outside of the aisles. All the inner side, the processed foods. Reduce as much as you can, and I promise you, you're gonna be feeling healthier, you're gonna be feeling better. And if you have some weight to lose, you're gonna be losing that with a little activity. And if you need, have any questions or if you need any help on what to buy, please leave it down in the comment section or inbox me. I'd love to help you. Paul Connor from VFF. Have a great day.